You know, I learned all these expressions from the kids when I was doing supply work in secondary schools in the northeast. And I, I just couldn't believe the way the kids, you know, teenagers have got a language of their own. So not only did I have to learn the northeast English, but I had to learn how the kids were speaking as well, just two different languages, you know. So it was a bit of a challenge, that's the least you can call it. Um, and they, they came up with all these expressions, you know, oh, it's well, good, miss, it's proper mint tonight. What are they on about? <laughs> you know? Because my English was proper, like, at the time. <laughs> Not like now. <laughs> anyway, key of three, I believe. Three. Yeah. And a trois. It's terrible, because my mum cannot play the piano without reading the music sheets that she's got in front of her eyes, which absolutely... I just don't understand it, because some of the pieces she's been playing since she was about eight, and she just turned 67 last week, and she still needs to read the same things. And I'm like, Mum, surely you know them by heart? You know, after nearly 60 years, surely you know them by heart? And, because uh, most of the time she plays with her eyes closed. <laughs> she does, this is, I'm, I'm certainly true this, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making it up. This is what I thought, she's, she's having me on, you know, it's a joke. So one day she was playing with her eyes closed because, you know, they, she was. And I went, tiptoed, you know, behind her and she just, because she never noticed, I pinched the music sheet that she had in front of her that she clearly was not looking at, right? And she was playing, I mean, you don't know what I mean. Anyway, this is what it's called, I've forgotten. This is the Marshall Turk or something. Anyway, in French. Um, and, uh, and suddenly, she decided to open her eyes, as she did sometimes, you know, like breathing thing, just from time to time she was... And uh, she opened her eyes and then she never noticed at first and then she went, like, in a panic because the sheets, you know, the music sheets are gone and I'm like, Mum, wh what are you doing? Well, I can't play. I said, yes, you can, you were. She says, but I can't, the thing's gone. I said, but you were playing with your eyes closed, what's the problem? You know? And it's completely beyond me that she cannot play without the safety net in some ways, you know? And for me, it's just like, it's Chinese, I don't get it. You know, I don't even know what it means, so it's quite funny, really. Anyway. So we're going back to the 1960s, I believe, with this one. You're all way too young to remember the 1960s, especially you over there. <laughs> but uh, this is a beautiful song by a lady called Buffy St. Marie. <clears throat> so you sh sure, hopefully you'll uh, recognize it. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I've had a bad thingy cough for a week now, so... I don't know if the voice is here, if it's going, coming, whatever. <coughs> so my apologies for that. In French, in French, no, in English, you say you've got a, a frog. <laughs> she just amazes me. <laughs> you're English and you say you've got a frog in your throat, you know what I mean? I just find it amazing where these expressions come from. Now, we don't say that in French, funnily enough. We don't have, it's not a frog we have in our throats in French. The equivalent expression is we have a cat. Nous avons un chat dans la gorge, yeah. We have a cat in our throats, so a massive one. <coughs> it's not a frog, it's a cat we have in French, you know, it's just really weird. Anyway, until it's time for me to go, which will be about 11-ish or something. Unless it's before, if I've been sacked before, you know what I mean? Because Eric is looking at me, you know, saying, So, <coughs> I'm going to Love me enough 
This love of mine had no beginning, it has no end. I was an oak, now I'm a widow, now I can bend. It's time for me to go Oh